Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, 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 today. This video is gonna be a really quick one. I'm gonna be taking you through my kind of everyday brow routine. I literally, I'm only gonna be using two products in this video, it's gonna be a really quick one. It is literally just how I do my brows every day. I don't have the best eyebrows in the world as you'll see at the beginning of the demo. I just feel like brows are so important. I never had eyebrows growing up. All through school I didn't have eyebrows. They were very blonde and very sparse and now I kind of get the reason why eyebrows are so important. So yeah, if you want to see how I do my eyebrows, then just keep watching. Okay, so these are my eyebrows with nothing on them. They're not great at all. Probably say that I fill them in every day or 99% of the time anyway. I just don't have many hairs. There are also different heights. So this one's quite a lot higher than this one. And I just, I just, don't like them. <laughs> the one product that I always seem to find myself going back to is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and I get mine in the shade Dark Brow and I've actually just recently got a new one so that's what it looks like in the pot. It's like a kind of waxy gel kind of formula I guess. Kind of like a gel eyeliner but for your eyebrows. And I use the Anastasia brush. I'm not too sure what this is called but it's like a double-ended brush so this end is uh, obviously to draw your eyebrows on and on the other end you just get a spoolie and mine's really really dirty and I'm not really sure how to wash this side so. Okay so what I'll do first is I always brush through my eyebrows with this end just before I do anything to my brows just to make sure that they're kind of ready to go. And I always brush this bit up and then these, oh, my lashes are getting stuck. <laughs> these lashes that I'm wearing today are so long. Yeah, so then I'll just brush the kind of tail part of the brow outwards. And then what I'll do, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show this, but I dip my brush in there a tiny little bit. And then what I'll do is just on the back of my hand, I'll just take off any of the excess. Just because you don't want to go straight in with a loaded brush and kind of just like bam draw your brow straight on they will look like you've drawn them on with permanent marker so i always start around this area so what i'll do is i'll just gently start drawing lines i guess do you see what i mean like kind of slowly building it up, not going straight in with like a really harsh line. And I just carry that on all the way along the bottom edge of my eyebrow. I just know that the one day that I'm filming like an eyebrow tutorial is the day that my eyebrows are going to go really bad. It's just sod's law, isn't it? My dog wants to get outside. You can get out of that gap. Stop being a diva. Go on. <laughs> so I'm just gonna carry on what I've been doing for the whole brow with the kind of really small movements of the brush. And just keep doing that literally all over my brow until I feel like it's filled in enough. When I get to this part of the brow, this is kind of where I struggle. I always feel like this is where you could go horribly wrong, so this is where it could go from natural brow to obviously drawn on brow. So what I'll do is I've dipped my brush into the kind of remaining product on my hand and just wiped it off so that literally the only product is right on the tip of the brush. And what I'll do, so I'll hold it like this and then I'll literally just kind of drag it up all the way along and I feel like that's the only way to kind of create those brow hairs. <laughs> Sometimes if I do want my brows to look really fluffy I'll go overboard of this and go all the way along my brow all the way along to the tail and then once I've done that I'll just go back in with the spoolie and just gently brush everything through 
then you should have something that looks like this. Now you can go in and fill in any bits that you feel like need a little bit more product. And I accidentally over waxed the tail of my brow so you can probably tell I look a little bit bald here. Um, so what I do is I put quite a lot of product on my brush and I just fill that in. So that's the difference in the two brows. To be honest there's not that much difference. I just feel like it helps them look a little bit more defined with me having really dark hair. I just like my brows to look a little bit more don't know the word. <laughs> this is kind of what you should have at this stage. I'm gonna just go and fill this one in off camera just because I want this video to be a quick one. <laughs> to be 100% honest, some days I will literally just leave it like this. The dip brow pomade is perfectly fine on its own without being set but it, like, it honestly depends what mood I'm in. My brows change with every makeup look that I do so some looks that I do I want them to be really dark and bold. Um, some of them I will literally just use a brow gel and nothing else just to kind of make them look a little bit fluffier. This is kind of my everyday brow so that's why I chose to film this one rather than any of the other ones but typically what I'll do after I've done the pomade is I'll go in with a brow gel so this one is the Brow Coat Clear Brow Gel. It's absolutely disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Can you see how minging that is <laughs> it makes me feel sick but this one is just clear brow gel and it does a really good job at setting them into place so what I'll do with this it's the easiest thing <laughs> is I'll literally run this through my brow so I'll run this bit here so that the hairs are pointing up my lashes are really getting in the way today <laughs> and then I'll kind of do this part of the brow as if they're running up like that and then for the tail of the brow I'll just smooth it out like that. With it being a clear gel you don't have to be tidy with it at all you can just kind of slap it on. So yeah this is what you should have and this is literally it so that is my brow routine <laughs> if you could call it that. Literally just two products as easy as that. Um, I'm just going to quickly highlight my brow bone while I'm here because I've highlighted the rest of my face. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow in light and I'm just going to literally pop that right there. So that completes this little tutorial I guess. Just really quick and easy and I like watching these kind of videos like the kind of five minute quickie ones so I'm hoping you guys do too oh my god I have no idea what I'm saying <laughs> subscribe if you want to only if you want to <laughs> yeah hope you enjoyed it and that's all I've got to say so I'll see you in the next one bye